So this is a 22 Duramax L5P uh, stealth module install. So the first step is gonna be pop the hood and you're gonna wanna wait for the, the truck to go to sleep. So what you can do is just don't disturb this thing when you're installing it. Just keep an eye on that. Once those dash lights shut off, wait a few more seconds and then the truck will be asleep. So on the harness, you're gonna have two leads, one for the fuel pressure, one for the boost. Now the fuel pressure one, it's got a red locking tab. You slide it back and you push down on this black piece and it slides right off. Might take a little extra effort for that one. They're usually a little stuck in the factory. So getting that one in, you plug one end of our connector into where it came out and this end there. And you can slide that lock, lock and tab in if you want. It's not totally necessary. Now the map sensor connector. So this is another thing where it has a locking tab. It comes with it slid all the way in. Make sure you slide that all the way out. And now push down hard on this white piece and pull. Okay. Now you take our connector, plug it in line. Make sure another thing is too, our connector has a locking tab. Make sure that's slid out when you go to install it or otherwise it's not really gonna lock the way it's supposed to. And then you share it snap on, you slide that in and tug on it. Make sure it won't come apart. Then you take the other end, you plug it into the other end of our connector. Boom, just like that. And you know, like you saw, you can slide that connector, that tab in if you want. The gray connector plugs into our module, just like that. Two clips, make sure they're both snapped all the way. A harness comes bundled up. So there's a, it comes with a wire long enough where you could run it up through the firewall if you wanted to. I wouldn't bother, the majority of customers just leave it under the hood right next to the module. And so all the way to the left is stock or counterclockwise. And as you turn it right or clockwise, it goes low, medium, high. And medium's a good all around setting. So that comes over here, tuck the wires away neatly and just mount it somewhere. You can tuck it somewhere in right here next to the battery. It's usually good to go. All right, so you're all set. And um, when you fire it up, if you have any check engine lights or reduce engine power or anything like that, just go through, triple check all your connectors and go through that going to sleep and starting the truck up process a few times, like five or six times, and, and the lights should clear out. But you're good to go.